In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can draw inequality symbols, how we could represent them as uh, a number line. Okay, so representing an inequality using a number line. So I'm going to go through these five examples to highlight it. So x is less than 3. Let's draw ourselves a number line. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, now at 3, we're going to represent it using a dot, okay? But because we want to be strictly less than 3, we're going to use a hollow dot rather than a filled in dot. And because we want any x that is less than 3, we are pointing our arrow towards the left. As opposed to if I'm saying x is less than or equal to 4, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as a number line. Because it is equal to, I'm going to use a solid dot. And then pointing to the left because I want x to be less than it. So this means, in the first instance, x can be any number up until 3. But it can't be 3. While this means x can be any number up to 4 and including 4. So if I'm going the other way, if x is greater than minus 1, then here's my number line. At minus 1, I'm going to use a hollow dot because there's no equality here. And because I want x to be greater than it, I'm moving to the right. So if I'm saying that x is greater than or equal to 2, then... I use a solid dot rather than a hollow one, and still pointing towards the right. So I can use it for simple inequalities like that, and here is a double inequality, so I've got a little bit more information, where I'm looking between 3 and 8, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, x, 3 is less than x. So I'm using a hollow dot because there's no equality symbol there. For the 8, however, there is an equal sign. So I use a filled in dot. And I can have any value between. Okay? And we're going to see how these can be represented in the next video.